What's up guys? I'm in the shed making a mess in the boat here. So I got multi bars. They are a rod holder. I guess I can get closer to it. Rod holder that you can fully adjust any way you want. This one I got solid where I want it. But I will show you how it came. We'll put it together. There's several videos on YouTube about doing it. But I just figured I wanted people that follow me to see what I've added to the boat. We got this one mounted pretty dang solid for considering I don't have a whole lot to mount to. You can see that I've been making a mess and it's not very much fun. This is for catfishing. I can park on the river, put four rods out the back and, and have a good old time and not have to worry. And then I'm going to get LED lights to shoot up the rods and all that stuff. But So he comes with a base. This piece is separate. It, it wiggles back and forth. Then you got this really thick piece of steel. I don't even know. I'm going to have to get a tape measure to see how thick that is. But it's, it's hard to for you guys to see how thick it actually is. Especially if you look at pictures on the internet. And then as of right now, I just have two mount, two rod holders up here. But you can put four. You can put three if you wanted. Or four. However you want to do it. Or you could just have one there. And then put a light or something over here. Whatever you want to do, basically. So I just got my spots marked to drill my holes. This is all foam filled, so I got toggle bolts. They are a pain in the butt to put in. Uh, I'm regretting every minute of it. But for right now, that's the way I'm gonna do it. I don't plan on, uh, uh, There's I could pull on it. It's pretty strong, so. Uh, I think at some point I'm gonna have to have a giant piece of really thick aluminum put right here. And then mount it on there and then rivet the aluminum that's what i'm thinking at some point but i think this will be fine catfish ain't gonna rip it off so all right let me get this on my head here and then i'll show you how we put it together okay so it's got hopefully you guys can see this it's got this curved end then it's flat and then on this end it's got completely round well that would be the top this curved end would be the bottom we just Got a bolt you put through there. I do not have this base mounted yet. It's just kind of sitting here. All right. So it's set up to where it can't go this way, but it can go forward if you loosen it up enough. You loosen this up, you can tilt it forward. So the bar, which is very thick, exactly one inch thick stainless which is fairly heavy you want to have this um set screw facing upwards okay remember how i did it get in the hole So now you got, as long as you keep that loose, <laughs> you can go this way, any way you want. You can go, you could tilt it down if you wanted to for some reason. And then I gotta loosen this, let me get my wrench. You could mount this any way you would like. Over here, like this, over like this, which is pretty cool. You can mount it clear over like that. So you could put this over here, which would look pretty cool too, if you wanted to. And you have all kinds of options. And then you just tighten all these down, hit these set screws, and that's how she stays, just like that. Which is pretty cool. 
whatever options you want. I'm just choosing to go right here, straight up and down for now. Perfect, just the way I want it. And then I have endless from where I'm at right now. So they tighten up, geez, they, it's just, I have endless possibilities right here where I got this mount. I could take these all the way down here so I don't have to even leave my seat. Clear over here like this. If I'm, uh, I can go clear over like this if I'm casting off this side of the boat. So that's what's cool about them. These are called multi bars. And uh, this is obviously I've not used them yet. I'm just showing you how to install them and what they, what you can do with them. So I am gonna get this base mounted and get the other one hooked up here. And hopefully get some catfishing going here. We had snow last night, so it's not exactly ideal conditions, but all right, I'll get back with you here after I get this one mounted. Stay tuned. These toggle anchor bolts from Bass Pro, they're stainless. Basically, you, you run it down in the hole like this. You go in the hole, it comes open like this. You pull up tight with the bottom of your metal. And then you got this collar that slides clear down, hooks it. You take these and you go snap, snap, and it's just there. And then all you got to do is put your plate there put your bolt through and you're good to go. I use stainless bolts. She is solid besides the fact that I don't have that tightened yet because I wanted to show you guys different adjustments. So put it like this. Tighten that to that. And then put that that way. And we could have our rod holder like that, which would probably be a pretty good option. But I like them straight up and down because I'm gonna this this is gonna be my platform to stand on and reel. But it would be real easy to have them clear over here. But you, depending on your deck style, you have multiple options you could choose. <laughs> And this way, when I have my seat post in right here, I can I can sit on my seat and I can still watch both both of them. So I can even swing that out away from me. So I have even more room like this. this would be pretty epic I kind of like that actually that puts it out here tighten that up that puts it out here to where you could easily run your rods off that way and you have even more room on the deck. So you got endless possibilities. I kind of like that myself. I just got to make, I got to put it somewhere where I know for sure that the motor won't hit it. So we might try it right there. I kind of like the way that looks. And then we just got to put it to where we take the motor and we'll turn it all directions and we'll see how that ends up being. And I might adjust them both to that way. I don't think the motor, the motor might hit it there. We'll find out. Oh, definitely not that way. Oh yeah, that's definitely the way it's going right there. I really like that. The only thing is I gotta switch, yeah. Yeah, I like that right there. That's the way it's gonna be. Yep. That puts it all, I'll have all the deck space I need right there, doing it like that. I like that. I'm gonna get it switched over and then I'll come back on. I just got them where I want them. I'm gonna tighten them up a little bit, snug them up. Oh, dang it.
stubborn bastard. There you go. Right there, stay there. Okay. Needs to be pretty close to the same as the other side, just for appeal. snug these I mean they are a bitch to loosen back up so I'm not going to tighten them solid until I know for sure that's where I want them the motor does not you stupid thing it does not obstruct the motor at all so we're good on that part it gives me all my deck I like it won't interfere with bass fishing a lot of times we go bass fishing during the uh Let's say we go bass fishing during the the uh, during the day, and then we switch to bat, then we switch to catfish at night. So I don't have to I don't have to move it. I like it like that. So if you get these, play around with them a little bit before you finally set them where you think you wanted them before. Because I I've just completely changed <laughs> the way it was looking just now. It was upright which I was okay with, but I moved it around to show you guys just a little bit and I'm like, okay, that's exactly where I want it now. So I'm getting my, should already had this stuff done, but I'm not really thinking about the video near as much as I am getting these on here. But, so this, all this is just, loose um i gotta snug everything up and then i gotta do the set screws still and then it's it's there they recommend checking tightness later on uh, they also recommend you use anti-seize which i did not do the only thing i'm worried about is this bottom bolt so i can take this off if i do want to They didn't have, they only had three drift masters with the trolling version. So you could put it in multiple spots where it's locked in. This one, as you can see, does not have that. So I have one oddball that I will replace later on down the road. I will just put it back in the slide so I can slide it up there and have a couple rod holders up front. If I do troll, probably just run one one right here and troll that way i don't want to i don't think i want to have three rods on each side that's too much work anyways trolling for i'm talking when you're dragging a three pound weight behind you, you that's just too much work put this wrench in my boat I can adjust these when I'm out on the water anytime I want I could turn this one over here so what do you guys think about that I don't know how good it looks in the video but that's pretty badass this guy needs to be turned just a little bit this way and probably this way just a hair there we go Trying to line them up. <laughs> solid. Freaking solid. And it's barely even tightened down. Look at that. <laughs> Alright guys. Uh, basically the only thing left to do is to toss the rod in. 
There we go. There's that rod holder. Big old fish on that son of a bitch. And now this one, you can mount it in here straight up and down. Or you could put it in like this. That's the difference between the Driftmaster uh, trolling and the non-trolling. But basically, you just put it in like that. Let's see. There she is. I don't know. It's just a simple video, but I wanted to show you guys. Obviously, you got to make a mess. And it's a little bit of work, but take your time. Don't get frustrated, and, and you can do it. Uh, the main thing is, is I want the base as solid as possible. So hopefully your boat's got a little bit better uh, mounting areas than mine does. Because basically they put the gas tank right here. Uh, solidest part of the whole boat. So yeah, we just deal with what we got. That's typically the way everything is. So, all right, guys, I wanted you to see that. Badass. I'm ready. It's going to be awesome. Catfishing time. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. I'll put a link in the description. So, take it easy. Thanks for watching.